loving pranams at the lotus feet of our most beloved Lord, Bhagwan Sri Satisai Baba Vadu. With the blessings of Swami, we have once again assembled for this divine satsang on the theme, the Vedas, the very foundation of Indian culture and spirituality. It is indeed a great blessing to all of us to be the part of this Gamma Agama lecture series which is being organized by Sri Satya Sai Samyukta Suti Shreni of Sri Satya Sai Seva Organization India. And more for this opportunity to invite all the ardent seekers of Vedic knowledge to this 36th episode on Rudra Dhyaya. We are indeed extremely fortunate to once again have Professor Dr. Sanidharam Sudarsana Sharmagaru with us to share his vast wisdom and his dedicated penance on Rudra Dhyaya. In this lecture, this great scholar will continue to expound on the first Anuvaka of Sri Rudra Dhyaya. Without any further delay, I request Prof. Dr. Sarmagaru to take over. Jai Sai Ram. Shri Guru Bhyonamaha Om Shri Shaira In continuation of Rudra Jahaya, the next mantra is Yamishun Girishan Tahaste Bibharshastave Shivam Giritratam Kurumahidun Se Purushan Jagatu In this mantra, the interpretation starts with the word Girisha. Hey Girisha, Shiva is, sambo, is addressed as Girisha. Hey Girisha, you are wearing an arrow in your hand to shoot at us. We request you to kindly make it peaceful 
you kindly soften the arrow hey girisha girisha means one who gives us comfort even while staying at the peak of the mountain giri giri means the mountain or the hill girisha one who stays at the peak of the mountain kailasa shikhar even while staying there he takes care of us he need not come over here even he stays there at the top of the kailasa parvata he knows everything he knows the problems of everybody and he knows even their solutions he girisha sha means comfort o oh, the resident of uh, the peak of the kailasa parvata you know what are our problems you also know what are their solutions thereby you can give us comfort this this lot of meaning is uh, conveyed by the word girisha hey girisha yam ishu astave ishu means the arrow yam ishu the arrow which is in your hand haste the arrow which is in your hand what for it is there astave to be shot at us bibharshik you are holding that type of arrow in your hand it is frightening it is fierce it vomits the fire you make it pacified shivam kuru tam shivam kuru you make that arrow shiva smooth and comfortable let that let that arrow be shot but the prey of that arrow is our discomforts you convert your arrow in such a manner so as to take away all our all our problems all our discomforts all our enemies so that we can live in happy he girish ya meshum girishan tahaste bibharshastave shivam giritratam kuru in the first sentence of this mantra the word girisha akas we have explained the meaning we have known the meaning girau shaite iti girisha who lives on the top of the mountain again in the next sentence giritra he giritra he giritra means here the word giri is not for the meaning of a mountain here the meaning of giri is the oath or pledge taken by somebody or a promise made to somebody that sentence of promise or oath or pledge is called giri tra means to protect one who protects his promise one who keeps up his promise he made a promise that who ever be who ever be the person if he takes my refuse it is my duty to protect him or her or it that 
kind of promise was given by you. And you always stand by your word, you always protect your promise and protect us also. That meaning comes from the word Giritra. Here the Giri means the sentence of a promise, oath or pledge. Tra means the protector of that sentence, the meaning of that sentence. He Giritra, O oh, a true God who keeps up his promise. Tam Kuru Shiva. You make that arrow Shiva soft, mild, and soothing. He Giritra. Please protect the Purusha and the Jagat. Mahigumsi. Do not cause any, uh, any discomfort, any inconvenience. To whom? Purusham Jagat. Purusha means man. Normally we know Purusha refers to a man. But here the Purusha is the human being. Purusha also refers to the father, grandfather and other forefathers. Mother, grandmother and four grandmothers. Purusha covers the entire dynasty. Purishete iti Purusha those who lived in the bodies, they are called Purushas, this human body. And Jagat means the world around us. It covers the area, it covers the circle of friends, relatives, enemies, officials, authorities and the servants, the things that are around us, eatables and other instruments, whatever you name, it is covered by the word Jagat. You protect the Purusha and the Jagat. You protect us the human beings and the jagat, the world around them. Mahigum see. Don't torture them. Please see that all the human beings with their pets, with their friends, with their enemies, with their relatives, you please see all of them are comfortably placed. Yami Shungiri Shantahaste Vibharshastave Shivangiri Tratam Kuruma Higum Se Purushan Jagatu Shivena Vachasatva Girisha Chavadamasi Yatana Sarvamid Jagada Yakshmagum Sumana Asatu. This is the next mantra. Shivena Vachasatva Girisha Chavadamasi. He Girisha. Here also, in the last mantra, we had. Giritra Girisha. And here we have another Girisha Shakta. Hey Girisha, here the word Giri means Veda. 
मृत्यु to grant him one more life one more span of life so that he can study the vedas further so even the second span of life was granted to him he spent the same for studying veda further for the third time when the dt mrutyu appeared before him as usual he refused to go along with but requested to grant another span of life which could not be granted for him. then yama came to convince him he didn't listen to him then indra came to convince him then he showed गिरी what are these mountains called i have never seen seen them earlier then indra replied they are the vedas for which you have been struggling to study and finish so veda is in the form of a mountain he giritra हे गिरीश गिरौशेते गिरीश वन हू रिलैक्स ऑन द बेड ऑफ वेदा इज कॉल्ड गिरीश गिरी मीन्स वेदा शा मीन्स वन हू रिलैक्स शिव रिलैक्स इन दि वेद मंत्र सो ही इज कॉल्ड Girisha, Veda Swarupa is there. Hey Girisha, Veda Swarupa, Acha, you are Acha. अबे इंदी में कहते हैं अच्छा। वास्तव में ये शब्द वेद का शब्द है। सु प्लस अच्छा स्वच्छ दट विच इज क्लीन नीट इज कॉल्ड स्वच्छ स्वच्छ जलम प्योर वाटर दिस वर्ड अच्छा इज ए वेदिक वर्ड अच्छा निर्मला इज अर्था वी ऑफर सो मेनी थिंग्स टू यू लॉर्ड शिवा वी आर डर्टी वी आर डर्टी with our hands with our body with our thoughts also we are dirty when we worship you this dirt will go to you but you will not become dirty you will always be acha pure and pious like ganga the bashakara gives an example the dirty water the rainy water or sometimes the sewage drainage water also joins ganga it gets purified and becomes swachha in similar fashion though we are dirty people 
we praise you with our dirty tongue we offer something to you with our dirty hands but still you remain neat and clean acha this is an address of world to shiva hey girisha oh lord you always live in vedas girisha means the deity living on vedas acha you ever remain pure and pious neat and clean girisha cha vadamasi shive navachasa we vadamasi we praise you how we praise you shive navachasa with good words with pious words shive na means comfortable to listen and full of devotion devotion with such type of words vadamasi we will praise you he girisha he acha shivena vachasa with proper words vadamasi we praise you so what happens if we praise you with pure pious words yatha nasarvamij jagada yakvagum supana asatu by praising you by describing you with appropriate words we get a benefit yathana sarvam jagada yakshma pumsumana what is the benefit sarvan jagat itna na our sarvan jagat it the entire world the entire ambience around us ayakshma pumsumana asatu will become ayakshma and sumana the entire ambiance the entire surroundings the entire world around us will become sumana ayakshma ayakshma means roga rahita devoid of any kind of disease any kind of disease uh the bhashakara says ye ayakshvam roga rahitam the roga is of two kinds roga means the disease roga or disease caused by the external external influence the disease caused by internal forces this two kind of diseases are called yakshma ayakshmam none of the person or none of the creatures in and around our surroundings should be should get this disease of any kind ayakshmam so everyone should be hale and healthy in our world sarvan jagat it in our entire world nobody no creature should fall sick every creature should be hale and healthy physical is that sufficient no they also should be hale and healthy mentally too so
Sumana, that's why the word comes. Sumana, they should have good mind, good thinking process, good thoughts and good deeds as a result. Shivena Vajasa Tva Girisha Chavadamasi He Girisha O deity lying on the Vedas Acha A clean, neat and pious deity We praise you, we worship you Vadamasi With our words Shivena Vajasa Which kind of words? Shivena Vachasa Prompt Appropriate words With appropriate words We worship you Yatha Nasar Vamid Jagada Yakshagum Subana Asatu In return You please make our entire world Comfortable Comfortable By avoiding the diseases and also by avoiding the ill thoughts, bad thoughts. Everybody, every creature should have good health and good mind. Yatha nasar ramid jagada yakshmagum sumana asatu The four lines, that is, Yamishungirishantahaste bifarshastave Shivangiritratam purumahikum se purushan jagatu Shive navachasat vagirishat chavadamasi Yatha nasar ramid jagada yakshvam sumana asatu These lines form into a single mantra. The Rishi of this mantra is Gautama. It is composed in Gayatri Chandas. And the preceding deity of this particular mantra is Rudra. Sangramike Navakusha Pravirajamanam Devam Puratraya Vinashana Mandahasam Daityandi Dhakshu Achaleshwara Chapapanim Jaye Purari Patapumi Ratha Dirudam. This is the Jana Shloka. Sangra Mikeda Vopusha Pravirajaman. The Rudra, the deity Rudra, appears before us in the dress of a warrior. Fully equipped warrior. Devam Puratraya Vinashana Mandahasam After destroying the Tripura, the Asura, the Demon, Tripura Asura, a light smile appears on his face. Then he looks very beautiful. He fought with the Devan, he devastated the Asura along with his three castles, three Pura, Tripura Asura. There was an Asura who built him three castles, started living in them and started even to torture the uh, people who follow Dharma. His only aim was to destroy dharma. And no deity could prevent him. All the human beings, the rishis and the other gods like Indra, they approached Brahma in vain. They approached Vishnu in vain and all of them ultimately approached Shiva on the Kailasa. Then Shiva as we already told he is Girisha. 
giri means whoever comes to his refuge he gives he grants protection to him and he keeps up the promise all the gods have come to him he promise okay i will protect you then he he fought with the asura he fought with the tripura asura and devastated shattered all the three castles and killed the rakshas so that the entire creation the entire universe has become happy at that point of time he was like a warrior sangramika sangrama means war a fight sangramike na vokusha pravirajaman was beautiful he was further beautiful when the light smile on his face adorned him after defeating the rats that victorious smile that made him pleasant devam puratraya vinashada mandahasam daityan didakshu amaleshwara avachaleshwara chapapani after devastating the tripuras he looked here and there whether there was anybody concealed anybody any rakshasa hiding himself so he was looking here and there he was looking at his bow also the bow was nothing but the himalaya and in puranas we come across about this episode of tripura asura samhara how shiva punished the rakshas as i already told when all the gods approach him took refuge at the feet of shiva then he promised to save them and immediately he prepared himself to fight with the rakshas then a miracle happened the entire earth turned to be the chariot surya and chandra sun and moon they became the wheels and both the ashwins they stood there on the on the wheels to protect them all the vedas four vedas they became the horses and there is another version that uh, the four dikpalas indra yama varuna kubera they became the horses this is another version but the popular version is all the four vedas have become the horses and brahma himself was the driver he was he was the driver and the meru parvata or himalaya was the bow adi shesha or vasuki was the string of the bow and the arrow narayana himself turned to be the arrow do you know who was at the tip of the arrow agni himself was at the tip of the arrow and vayu took the position at the back of the arrow to add speed to it so with this paraphernalia he devastated he demolished the dama tripura and that tripura asura samhara shiva should be meditated upon chanting these mantras these two mantras so the rules are 
the japa should continue for 21 days without stop except the time permitted for snana sanjha vandana so if you continuously chant this uh, mantra for 21 days then you are granted our authorization to utilize this mantra and what for this mantra should be utilized to come out of the problem of immature death immature death akala marana nivrutti asya mantra se phal the result of chanting this mantra is relief from the problem of immature death this can be done for himself or for the sake of others when they are in trouble see the mantras they are always for paropakara for dharma when your intention is good is pious then the mantra will yield its result when you have evil intention and take the advantage of this mantra to use this against somebody else then the mantra will not yield its result further it may affect you in reverse so while uttering the mantra while practicing the mantra and while shooting this mantra one should be very careful the rules the laws the regulations that have been framed by the shastra they should be followed then only the actual good result will be obtained otherwise it will be disastrous ethendra shatra swarato paradhat if you are not pious shuchi suppose uh, one out of over enthusiasm may plan to utter this mantra again and again even without taking a bath that is not permitted the veda itself warns yathendra shatra swarato parat even a rishi if he goes against the law of veda will be punished he has to suffer the uh, wrath of the veda so one should be very careful while using the mantras for himself or for the sake of others all the rules and regulations should strictly be followed and above all this this should be for the paropakar for the benefit of others for the benefit of the country for the benefit of the society then only shiva will be pleased the next mantra is adhyavocha devakta prathamo daivyo bhishak ahi gusta sarva anjambhayan sarva aschayatu dhanya adhyavocha dadhivakta prathamo daivyo bhishak bhishak means the doctor the doctor who treats us o shiva 
you are our bhishak you are our doctor so then the question comes why should shiva alone should be uh, worshiped there are so many doctors we may worship them we may please them with fees and get the uh, diseases treated by them but the word bhishak has got a very deep meaning inner meaning bhishak means there are three types of doctors one is the doctor who treats the body the other one is who treats the mind yet another one is who treats the papa and punya so shiva is a union of all these three doctors papa papa bhishak he is a doctor in papa when you perform some papa any deed which is against dharma then you please take refuge at the feet of shiva he will protect you from that papa so that's why he is the first doctor who protects us from papas then roga physically there are so many diseases uh <clears throat> those diseases are averted by rudra in fact rudra is the first physician chantam padmasanastam shashidharamukutam panchamukkam tatrayatram shulam vajrancha khadgam parashum abhayatam he holds a knife an axe and so many things symbolizing with the surgeon he also holds a serpent visha the poison in ayurveda it is called visha vaidya in some diseases the poison is used as a medicine who oh, shiva is the first doctor first physician and the ashwins who are the celestial doctors in swarga they learned their medicine from shiva and dhanvantari later on comes so the mola purusha the first person the first physician is shiva himself bhishak veda says you are the doctors so one is the doctor in papa who protects us from papas the doctor in physical ailments physical diseases who treats us our body you who, who treats our body and puts us comfort uh, samsara dukha this is the third doctor in shiva samsara dukha this is our mental you are bound by the bondages of the samsara all the world the creatures are bound by the worldly bondages and he is a doctor who can make you released from the clutches of the worldly bondages are the clutches of the worldly desires are the worldly requirements he treats you 
and helps you to get yourself liberated from all the clutches or bondages of the world. So in this fashion, he is the third doctor. Bhishak, the Bhishak of Papa, the doctor of Papa, the doctor of uh, uh, physical diseases, the doctor of uh, mental and worldly diseases. Prathamo Daivyaha O Bhishak, O Shiva, you are the first deity. You are the first among the gods. You are the first to be worshipped. Even Rama worships Shiva, Shivalinga. We can see it in Rameshwara, Rama Ishwara. The Ishwara Shiva who was worshipped by Rama. None other than the incarnation of Mahavishnu. Prathamo Daivyaha, the first deity. Adhyavo Jada Devakta Prathamo Daivyo Bhishak. Hey Bhishak. Hey first deity, first god. Adhyavo Jada Devakta. Adhivakta. Adhivakta means the speaker of Adhivachana. What is Adhivachana? Adhivachana is recommending word. Adhivachanam Pakshapata Vachanam. Somebody approaches you. You develop some soft color towards him. If somebody asks to inquire about that person, what you will say? Ha ah, yeah, he is very good. That, that word is called Adhivachanam in the Vedic terminology. Adhivachanam means something recommending word. A kind of recommending word is called Adhivachanam. Hey Shiva, now let you be the Adhivakta for us. You please tell about us in a pleasing manner to others. I have some work with Indra. I have some work with Yama or Vishnu or Brahma. Then if you meditate Shiva, he will go on your behalf. On your behalf, he will go to that particular deity and tell about you, recommending your case. Adhyavo Chatu Adhivakta. You are our Adhivakta. Adhivakta means the recommending agency. You are our recommending agency. Please tell about us to all the other deities so that they will shower their choices blessings on us. Adhyavo Chada Divakta Prathapo Devyo Bhishak. The Bhishak, the first doctor, the first deity, if you worship him, he will be your godfather to recommend your cases, to get your things done by other deities. What does it convey? It conveys the message that instead of worshipping different kinds of deities, it is better to have faith in Shiva alone, in Rudra alone and worship him. He will take care of the cases of other deities. He will mould them. He will mould all the deities in favour of you. Adhyavo Chada Devakta Prathamo Daivyo Bhishaku When I am in problems, you recommend my case to the other deities and see that I am free from that trouble. 
अध्यवोचदधिवक्ता प्रथमो दैव्योभिषक अही गुश्च सर्वा अंजम भयन सर्वा आश्चया तो धान्या हे रुद्र आई विल चांट दिस मंत्र इन प्रेज ऑफ यू इन रिटर्न व्हाट आई एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम यू इज आई एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम यू दिस सर्वान अहीन यादु धान्या जंभयन सर्वान अहीन सर्वान ऑल अहीन अही मीन्स अ सर्प द स्नेक ऑल द स्नेक्स यादु धान्या यादु धाना मीन्स द राक्षस द डेमन यू किल ऑल ऑफ द Ahin, ahin is just all the serpents. You kill all all the serpents. So, how can he do that? While he himself is Naga Bhushan, he is decorated by the serpents. In and around, around him, there are so many serpents. so here the word ahin sarpa means the persons who are venomous not just the uh, snakes or scorpions even some of the persons they are venomous they are vicious even some thoughts are venomous sometimes our own thoughts are venomous so where there is venom shiva is an antidote to that venom sarvanahin any kind of venom the venom in your thoughts the venom in your deeds the venom in your words not to speak of the venom in the creatures like snakes and scorpions wherever be the venom in whatever manner it be sarvan jambhayan vinashaya you destroy the venom They, you destroy the poison you make it into amrita sarvan ahin jambhayan sarvan all types of ahin vishas poisons venoms jambhayan vinashay destroy and so also yatu dhanya yatu dhana means the rakshas it has also some inner meaning yatu dhana means the rakshasa in these days no rakshasa you see you have seen so many hiranyaksha hiranyakashipu ravana kumbhakarna shishupala tarakta tarakasura so many rakshasas we have seen. we have heard of them but uh, no such rakshasa is seen in the present days if we think like this we are mistaken there are there they have changed their shape all the rakshasas remember they are kama rupees they attain whatever form they want they may be around us in the form of handsome men or beautiful women they may be in the form of our higher ups they may be in the form of our servants they may be in the form of our friends disguised 
disguised they are sarva yatu dhanya the word sarva uh, relates here also yatu dhanya which means those who are against dharma anyone any creatures any thought any deed any word which is against dharma is yatu dhan you kill all of them what is the meaning of killing not physically killing you convert them into good you convert them into good deeds good words good creatures good human beings good thoughts ahigusch sarva an all the venomous creatures jambhayan sarva ascha all the yatu dhanya all the rakshasas sometimes the devils sit over in our mind they inspire you to do some bad things you treat them you make them good adhyavochadhi bhakta prathamo daivyo bhishak ahi guscha sarva anjam bhayan sarva aschayatu dhanya friends this mantra is very very important because in the entire rudra jaya it enjoys a special status that's why it is called shiva kavacha shiva shield this one mantra alone is sufficient to shield you from all sorts of sorrows difficulties and all sorts of the things that are against you you will you will be totally covered by recitation of this mantra that's why it is called shiva kavacha adhyavochadhi vakta prathama daivyo shak ahi guscha sarva an jambhayan sarva aschayatu dhanya it is the shiva kavacha for this mantra khandava is the rishi anushtu is the chandas the deity is shambhu shambhu is the deity so one who wants to attain the power of this mantra should meditate upon 50000 times this mantra should be recited for chanted for 50000 times then you are authorized to use this mantra and why while chanting this mantra you should meditate upon a rudra who is chandrarthamulin kalarim vyala yagopavitinam jvalat pavaka sankasham jhaye devam trilochanam e trilochana ar triyambaka ar trinetra ar the three eyed deity shiva chandrarthamulin who is decorated by the half moon on the head kalarim who is mrutyujaya kala ari kala means mrutyu the deity ari means who can destroy the mrutyu who can destroy the death also that kalari kalarim vyala yagopavitina he wears a yagopavita along with the yagopavita he wears the serpents also as yagopavita in the style of yagopavita vyala means serpent snake 
വ്യാള യജ്ഞോപവീതിനും ജ്വലത് പാവക സങ്കാശം ലൈക്ക് ലൈക്ക് ദി ഫ്ലേം ഓഫ് ദി ബർണിംഗ് ഫയർ ഇസ് കളർ ഈസ് ദി കളർ ഓഫ് ദ ഫ്ലേം ഓഫ് എ ബർണിംഗ് ഫയർ ജ്വലത് പാവക പാവക മീൻസ് ഫയർ ജ്വലത് പാവക സങ്കാശം ഓഫ് ദ സെയിം കളർ ജ്വലത് പാവക സങ്കാശം ജായേ ദേവൻ ത്രിലോചനം and the three-eyed god who is adorned with the half moon on the head who is kalari who is mrutyanjaya who can who can uh, uh, ward away ward off the deity mrutyu the death and vyala yagna upavithi who wears the venomous serpents as yagna upavitha and whose body color is as that of the flame of a burning fire he should be meditated upon while uttering this mantra for 50000 times and what is the result what is the outcome of this upasana raksha pishacha vishajvara nikhilarishth nivartaka all kind of discomforts will be wiped off raksha pishacha rakshasa rakshasa badha the problems created by the rakshasas pishacha the devils the bhutas the problems caused by them visha jwara several sides of several kinds of poisons poison the normal food also becomes poison when you take it in an inappropriate time so all kinds of poisons are treated by this mantra jwara all kinds of fevers there are about 186 types of fevers all the kinds of fevers will be treated by this mantra nikhila peeda nivartaka not only they said the untold problems also will be reverted by utterance of this prayer that's why it is called shiva kavacha and it is given the status of an important place in the entire uh, 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 adhyaya of rudra അധ്യവോചനധി വക്ത പ്രഥമോ ദൈവ്യോ ഭിഷക് അയീഗുസ്തു സർവാ അഞ്ചംഭയൻ സർവാ ആശ്ചയാതു ധാന്യ ഹരി ഓ ഓം ശ്രീ സായിറാം ലവിംഗ് പ്രണാംസ് അത് ലോട്ടസ് ഫീറ്റ് ഓഫ് അവർ ഡിയർ ലോഡ് സായി on behalf of sri satyasai samyukta shruti shreni of sri satyasai seva organization india and on behalf of all the ardent seekers of vedic knowledge and highly dedicated participants i extend our heartfelt gratitude and thanks for to dr sudarshan sharma garu for continuing to share his wisdom on rudra adhyaya and for enlightening us on its inner significance 
sir in this lecture you have started with the mantras yamisham girishanta haste bibarshastave shivam giritratam kuru mahigum se purusham jagat from the first anuvaka of sri rudra dhyaya and explain to us that through these lines we are indeed invoking the blessings of lord shiva who is omniscient and who has taken the oath of protecting the entire humanity and the entire creation and the one who is living peacefully on mount kailasha to direct the fierce arrow in his hands towards all the discomforts that we are facing and thereby we are praying praying for samasta loka sukino bhavantu next you took us to the following two lines from the first anuvaka of sri rudhya adhyaya shive na vachasatva girisaccha vadhamasi yathana sarva mijjagata yakshmagum sumana asat here you told us that the word girisha refers to vedas and lord shiva is verily veda he is veda swarupa you recall the vedic episode on said bharadwaja's untiring efforts and dedication to learn vedas to drive home the message that ananto vai veda and girisha is verily shiva swarupa veda shiva is veda swarupa you explain to us that by chanting these two lines we are indeed invoking the blessings of that lord who remains ever pure even after receiving all the dirt from the entire creation to free all beings and the entire creation from all diseases and keep everyone hale and healthy in all respects you told us that these four lines constitutes one mantra the rishi for this mantra is sage gautama the chandas is gayatri the dt is rudraha and the dhyana shloka essence you have explained as follows one should meditate upon that lord who is samharaka in the warrior attire having vanquished the daman tripurasura and having destroyed his three castles at the behest at the prayers of humans rishis devas has a very peaceful smile of assurance benevolence and blessings for all of us that is the form of the shiva that we should keep in mind when we meditate or chant these four lines later on you went on to tell the vidhi or the rules for chanting this mantra 
the mantra japa should continue for 21 days and one should maintain proper suchi while one is chanting this japa, making this japa or chanting this mantra. The benefits are the phala from chanting the mantra are akala marana nivruttihi removal of immature death. This mantra is meant for paropakaram. In addition, you have also explained that in preparation to the war, Lord Shiva had the following paraphernalia with him. The bow, his bow was the Himalayan mountains. The earth became his chariot. Surya and Chandra were the wheels for the chariot. Ashwini Kumar, the two Ashwini Kumars protected the two wheels. The four Dikpalakas or the four Vedas became four horses drawing the chart. Lord Brahma himself was Ratasarathi and the Adisesha was the string for the bow and Lord Narayana himself took the form of the arrow with Agni at the tip of the arrow and the Vayu at the other end of the arrow. You have also cautioned that one should follow Vedic rules carefully while chanting the mantra. Next, you took us the, to the most important mantra in Rudra Dhyaya, which is known as Shiva Kavacham. Adhyavo Dadi Bhakta Prathamo Dhaivyo Bhishak Ahiguscha Sarvan Jambayan Sarva Sayatu Dhanyaha. Here you started explaining to us on the divine physician aspect Bhishak of Lord Shiva, who can treat three different types of ailments, namely the ailment in the form of Papa and Punya, all physical diseases and the third one, mental and worldly illness. Lord Shiva is verily the antidote for all bad thoughts, feelings and deeds. He will remove the venom from every bad thing that's harming the humanity. For this mantra, the Rishi is Karnala, Chandas is Anustup, Diti is Lord Shambhu, and the Vidhi, or the way to be followed, is to recite the mantra 50,000 times. And the meaning of the Dhyana Sloka the form which we should meditate upon while chanting this mantra is described by you as follows. One should meditate upon the form of three-eyed Shiva with half moon on the head who is Mrityamjaya, the one who wears Yagnopavitam and also Serpents constitute his Yagnopavitam and whose body and whose body color resembles the color of burning fire. 
by meditating upon such a form and chanting the mantra for 50,000 times, the phala that one would get is removal of all discomforts, all the poisons, all forms of poisons that trouble the humanity, all rakshasa bhadas and all the 186 different types of fevers, the removal of all these difficulties. With this description, providing an in-depth word-to-word meaning and inner significance for the two more mantras from the first Anuvaka, you ended with an inspiring note and a cautioning note that we you have given us an inspiring note of Shiva Kavacha on the cautioning note of Suchi and Sud as the purity that we should maintain while chanting these mantras. I once again thank you profusely for explaining to us the great Vedic treasure in such simple words and to repeatedly drive home its importance, the importance of Rudra Dhyaya. We all pray to Bhagavan to give you the energy to carry forward this rich Vedic tradition for the benefit of the entire humanity. And we also pray to Bhagavan to bless you and your family immensely. Jai Sai Ram. Om Jai Jagadish Hari Swami Sati Sai Hari Bhakt Jana Samrakshaka Bhakt Jana Samrakshaka Bhati Maheshwara Om Jai Jagadish Hari Shashi Vadana Shri Kara Sarva
समस्त लोका सुखी हो भवंत समस्त लोका सुखी हो भवंत समस्त लोका सुखी हो भवंत भगवान श्री सत्य साई बाबा जी की